Guys, I've been getting instructions beforehand. So obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. This looks good, guys. Nothing behind the ears. I will be talking throughout the fight. Is there any questions from either corner? If not, touch them up. Wait on the bell. Good luck. Confident. We talked about that. Now, the rubber meets the road, so to speak. He's, does he have the goods? Amateurs and Dungani only 30 fights because he was a rugby player. And Haney was seven-time national junior champion. He fought in the seniors because he turned pro. So pro experience you see and Dungani. Not that many more bouts, a lot more rounds. He's been 12 rounds six different times. Just a jab out there, so that's a sign of things to come. And he's out. Very fast handed. There's no question that Haney's got the whole toolbox. Yeah, sometimes a fighter's goal or fighter's need is to figure out which tools to use to win. And I think his boxing skill is going to have to be at the forefront here because and then Danny's not probably going to press that much. Although when we talked to him, he, he thought and then Danny would bring the fight to him. Well, one thing I noticed on tape of Endon Gany, he, he, he needs distance between, he, he's not an infighter, that's for sure. He's not going to pressure Haney the way Burgos and Menard presumably were going to. Endon Gany, you know, he is coming forward, and so far it's like the battle of the jabs with both fighters. Nobody's really landing a significant punch. We've been about just trying to establish the, the distance. It's a good test, I think, for him. Good right hand about it. And again. Oh. He's reaching there, but he didn't take advantage of uh, Ndongani reaching. A little awkwardness to Ndongani's style. A little bit of herky jerky. And I don't know where he's going to throw from. You're right, Raul. He moves his head. He moves his head a lot. He's not going to be that easy to hit. Stop, stop, stop. Right. So far, competitive first round, a feeling yes. out round. Yeah, more missing than hitting. Yes. They both run a bunch of jabs. I don't think Haney's has been a little better. He's had a couple of merit again. <laughs> and he tried to end the fight with that right. And he's picking it up at the end of the round. That might have won yes. the round. That was a pretty good shot. Oh. And the right hand there, right on the button. And then Nagani goes up against the ropes. And he tries to close the deal at the bell. Yeah, that that would have been nice. Come on, listen. Listen, Ron, I got it, I got it. Hey, listen. Water, please. Water. Give me the water. Give me the water. Give me the water. Give me the water. Good job. I'm not gonna... Good. You are. But listen. All right, we talked to both guys about okay. what they need to do. Here first is Devin Haney. One habit that my opponent has, he likes to, when he throws his punches, he doesn't bring his hands back. He, he tends to, you know, drop his hands after he throws a, a punch or a combination. So whenever, he, you know, he... He overcommits. I look to counter counter him, and um, you know, uh, beat his hands back by punching. Expecting him to try and, uh, and push me, and you know what? I'm not gonna go back, and uh, I'm pushing him back. Also, I'm gonna go straight to him and push him and show him that I'm here to fight. Round two, and a good ending to round one for Devin Haney. That was a pretty competitive round for, for what? There were 15 seconds yeah. left when he yeah. exploded. Yeah. And he just took over with his explosive combinations and uh, so the power too. Rock. So they've been working on their power in the gym. You know, one of the things I have to say about Devin Haney, I mean, there's a storm all around him at all times. Many too many people, frankly, a lot of hoopla. He's got all the material things. But he's the quiet in the storm. Yeah. 
And he's serious about his craft. Yes. And he's serious about his condition. And that's Very focused. Very disciplined kid, you know, even though he lives a pretty, I mean, he's got everything. He's got the mansions, he's got the cars. He does, but he's a good kid. But, but he works hard. He does, and he's, he's a good guy. Very humble. Oh, nice counter. Right hook there by, by Haney. Left hook, should I say. Yeah, he's, okay, he, he keeps leaning back. Takes a step back and turns around that counter uppercut with his right hand. Oh. Good right hand drops in Dungeny. Seven. I don't think he's hey, hurt, but he was off balance enough to get knocked down. And he right on top of it. Only the second knockdown of Dungeny's career. And that right hand just missed. And he's trying to close the deal. He. He wants he, yeah. a big win. Oh, he yeah. wants to get yeah, his he, man out of here. He wants to make that big statement. Yeah, a lot of urgency in him to, to get that knockout. I, I see it in his eyes and the way he's fighting tonight. And you heard Haney say, and then drops his gloves with three punches, and that left hand of Endangeni is very low. The last time Engon Denny went down, he ended up knocking his opponent down five times in return. That's right. He didn't want to be here, though. He took a right hand again. Now he's, he's a little frantic with his, frenetic and frantic with his style right, right now. I think he is. And he looks chopping he looks, right hand again. He looks strong. He's manhandling in the beginning. Well, this is a side of Haney we haven't seen before, at least in the show box. Four or five punch combination. All of them got there. <laughs> Reaches over the top of his head. He can't do that, but might make a highlight film. Stop. Very effective round. How are you feeling? Good. Oh, yeah? Good, brother. Right. Finish with the left hook. Eh? Where's the spit bucket? Deep breath. Come on, come on. I'm gonna hurt this guy. Gonna hurt him. Knocked down in round two. And Dungeny with a very wide stance. Gets ch a chopping right hand from Haney. Barry said it right. He wasn't really badly hurt. More off balance. But land the punch landed clean. Take a seat. And there it is right on the butt. But then again, he was a little off balance and, and, and not keeping his gloves up, and that's why he got his flush. And 10 8 round. This is round three. And Haney owned that last round. And Ndangeni, toward the end of the round, you pointed it out, Steve, was fought like he was a little bit frantic. <laughs> Interesting that a fighter who was down one round ago is pretty much the aggressor here. Yeah. And I think Haney loves it. Yeah, plays right in his hand. Yeah, that left hand of Endangeni is very low. Well. Oh, he's trying to bait him in. Pops that jab, that cat-like jab, you know. Just like a paw, you know. a step back. It's got, I'm looking it's got for that counter. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for that counter right up again. I think he could land that. Because it's a many reaches a lot. Well, you know, that's the other thing about Haney. He is a student of the game. And that cannot be said about every, not only every prospect or contender, but every champion. Step back, let go. Step back, don't push. Well, he knew who Charlie Burley was. That impressed the heck out of yeah, me the first right. time we met him. That's right. Not many 20 year old fighters, not many fighters, period, know who Charlie Burley was, one of the great fighters of all time. No, he's a very mature guy for, for 20 years old. And as we said, there's a, you know, a real buzz around him at all times, people around him at all times. Looking for that right hand. Zeroing in. And he does something Ruben Villa did. A 
boxes with his mouth open. He said it every time he's fought. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not going there anymore. Okay. <laughs> You're right. You're going to hear it next time. Uh, I'm Steve sure. No, it's okay. That's fine. I can handle it. And I'm getting does not want to be here. He fought part of the last round against the Wolves, too, and here he is again. This is just hunting him down with the jab. He's touching him with the jab, and he's trying to land big shots, power shots. That jab. Was double jab in a right hand. You almost have a sense this is a matter of time. Definitely sense that, yes. Because right now, and Dungan is doing nothing to bother Haney, nothing effective. I'd like to see Haney work the body more. Okay. Okay, I need you to get in this motherfucker's chest, man. Okay. I need you to get in this motherfucker's chest. Close the distance, though, with the shotgun. The shotgun gonna get it to you. Right there. Shotgun, shotgun, no, shotgun gonna close the distance, all right? Okay. Okay. And I'm angry. You just gotta go around the right side. You just go around. You keep going there to the right. Shotgun gonna close the distance on you, right? If you wanna get in there, you wanna get in his chest. He's weak on the inside. He's weak. You rip his fucking body. Okay? All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Floyd Mayweather was with the entourage all week long. He's still somewhere around there, but he's not in the ring. And it's still Dad's voice. Yeah, we've seen Mike McCallum in the corner of Haney also in one of his showbox fights. But to Bill Haney's credit, he takes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, knowledge from different trainers. Yes. Like Mustafa Muhammad in Las Vegas. Yep. Floyd Mayweather, who obviously knows a little bit about boxing, having taught his son. Well, well. This is round four. Since the first round, it's been a pretty cool. Good right oh. hand there, double jab and right hand. You heard Bill Haney ask him to, to, for his son to rip the body. Well, the one way Ndangeni's in this fight, 18 to 5 for Ndangeni in, in uh, body slices. Just a little short with that right hand. It's double jab right hand. That's what he's been doing. There it was again. He can throw the right hand. Taking more risks in this fight compared to the Burgos fight. That's what uh, I wanted to see. Fighting a good defensive yes. fight. Yes. Thank you very much. Just overpowering in the gym. Yeah, he's the hunter right now. Yeah. That, that's clear. He's been this way ever since about the 240 mark of round one. That's right. Dungeni's knockout percentage would suggest he's not much of a threat to score a knockout, and so far, what I've seen, I would agree with him. Walked into that right hand, and Haney hits him with the right hand again, and Dungeni says, no, it didn't hurt. There was a jab, missed with a wild right hand. He tried to keep him in the corner, but then Dungeni gets out of there. That's when Haney needs to go to the body in that, in that moment right there. When, and by Denny was against the court in the corner. Which is what Dad told him. You gotta keep that pressure. You gotta keep that heart rate up uh, in Don Guinea. You gotta make him work. You gotta push him. So Guinea's trying to survive and, and hold at times. And Don Guinea now breathing through his mouth too. Right, 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 right. Let's go, let's go. 
Good strong jab. Wow. <laughs> that was the shotgun jab Bill Haney was talking sure about. Was. Yeah, the jab when it comes down from the waist. A lot of times it's a little harder to see. To the right hand. Don't let him get off on the jab. Don't let him get off on the jab. Jab with him. Don't let him sit his feet. Don't let him sit his feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So this is round five of this scheduled ten rounder. Fight has been pretty dominated by Devin Haney since, as Steve pointed out, about the two minute 40 second mark of the first round. And he's doing real well with his jab landing with an average of nine per round, which is more than he's averaged up until this point. And it's a really good jab. It is. And it's being thrown from way down by his waist. Two more right there a minute ago. There's another one. On the right from the waist. Very smart fighter, Henny Look, he's, he's letting them, letting him, and don't get any grow. He's trying to let him get confident and, and catch him coming in. Good right hand right there. Yeah, he missed the first right hand. He landed the second. Yes, and, and oh. stayed right in there. There's a little uppercut in close quarters. Cut, and not getting coming off the ropes that time. Chopping right hand. Again, not getting maybe feeling this. Well, to his credit, and again, he's been trying to win. He's been trying to be aggressive, and by being aggressive, of course, what happens a lot is you open yourself up for more shots, and you could get him stopped. Haney getting a little more in punching range here. He's a lot closer to Ndungheni than he was. That's where he's got to become more of a volume combination puncher. Every time he gets close, let his punches, he's got the speed. And he's been best with that right hand when he leads with the jab first, sometimes double jab. Good body shot. That came from the hip also. Oh, that hurt him. And that, that did. Hurt, he yes. backed up immediately. Yeah. And still backing up. He's still feeling the effects of that body shot. Uppercut a little bit short. Chopping right hand short as well. I think Nun Guinea's getting a little bit tired also. And then again, he wants to bowl and hold, and he's not letting him. No, you know, he really fights beyond his years, I think. Oh, Good nice shot punch again. Shot. And that backs and yes. him again, up again. He is hurt. Oh, yeah. He is in big trouble here. It's, it's the body shots. Got to keep using uh, the work to the body. Again, a right hand on the chest. There's a right hand on the body again. That brings the arm down immediately of Ndungheni. You said it at the top, Raul. You said he's got to break him down with the body shots. Another good right hand. And Nangani falls into the ropes. And Nangani just in survival mode right now. Final 10 seconds of this round. Stop punching with the bound, guys. And then Nangani will live to fight another round. It's halftime. Five rounds in, five to go. Jabs, Haney, power punches, Haney, high percentage, 44%. Body punches, Haney. I haven't given a round to Andangeni, and don't forget, round two was a 10-8 uh, round, so big right hand from Haney. That was in uh, round one, toward the end of the round. And then in round two, we saw a knockdown. You see him clip Andangeni and with the right hand, right on the point of the chin. And ever since, Haney's been aggressive, but he's done it in his way, leading with the jab, Boxing and mixing in some power shots. A lot of chopping rights, a lot of shotgun jabs from the hip. But then that Genny, as we anticipated, has been trying to win. He's, he's not capitulating. So this is round six. What we can look for is Haney taking the hints from Endangeni. If Endangeni's aggressive, 
and he'll look to down to the body because his opponent will be close to him. If, if and again he's not aggressive, and he'll look for the jab right hand. Right hand to win the there. Might be his best punch. I think Haney might have ridden with it a little bit. If you haven't mentioned, if you haven't noticed, the ropes have held up. Yeah, they have. <laughs> That's good news. Three punch combination from Emily. A couple of jabs and then a little bit of a left hook. <laughs> Said he's holding, ref. Yeah, wait, well, he was right. Yeah. Oh, good nice. body shot again. I'll tell you what, the last, this, this round and the last round, he, he's, got a, he's got a good body attack. Right there, he's got, he's got to take advantage of the body. Every time he hits and don't get into the body, he hurts him. And he's trying to stay in close quarters here. And then Dungeny doing his share of good body work as yeah, well. he is actually. He's not having a bad round, all told. Oh, good counter right hand. a very strong jab that he shows. He gets a lot on it, and it's very quick. Very quick. Little jab, top of the head, had him turn, came with the left hand. Working his angles there. Again. Again. Uh -huh. <laughs> left hand came right over the right hand. So we got him thinking about that body. He's cooking. He did good. You spent, the, you spent the round thinking and got him thinking. Now you, everything is working. Everything is working. All right? You see how you fake down and he, 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 all right, to go up? That's when Big Floyd was calling for that straight right hand with that brick. Okay? All right? Go back here. Okay. Okay. It's okay. good. Rip both hands to the body. I'm telling you. Rip both hands to the body. That's what's working. That's what's working. Okay? How you feeling? You looking good. So this is round seven. They said Haney was looking good. I would agree with that. Is that Bill Haney told him, I want both hands to the body. That's the key right there. I, I think he works the body more, he will stop and don't get it. Yeah, I'm with you, Raul, because M. Van Ganey's been a little surprisingly difficult to hit with power shots after getting hit with a lot of them earlier in the fight. Yeah. 18 of the 26 body connects. And Van Ganey with a couple of body shots. Yeah, Haney's landed 18 of his 26 body connects in the last couple of rounds, so he is focusing on the body more than Over the top of the right hand, two more shots to the body. A nice little rally by Andon Guinea. That's good, that's good. Stop, stop, stop punching. And he wanted out of the uh, infighting, and Andon Guinea wouldn't let him go. See, Andon Guinea's problem, not a big puncher, and when you're a primarily a boxer and you get outboxed, well, how are you supposed what to win? What do you have to do? <laughs> Just the counter uppercut. Yeah, he keeps trying with that. He, and it's there for him because in the beginning, he leans forward, he lunges. <laughs> and then 
again, he's in great shape. First of all, he's still here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And secondly, you know, those shots that he throws, maybe he's not a puncher, but it takes a lot to throw punches the way yeah. he's throwing them yes. because they're, they're, you know, he reaches back. Just a good flicking jab, three of them, and then a left hand. Good right hand. Dan came over the top. And then got down his left. Mouthpiece comes out of Andrew Denny's mouth. A strong jab. His yeah. mouthpiece. Yours. Let me see. Let's go. Get it. Get it. There it is. Yep, just like you guys said. That jab when you knock a mouthpiece out, it's pretty impressive. I guess a haymaker is end on Genny's only hope. Yeah, I would think. And what else can he do? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's tried. It's not like yeah. he hasn't tried. It's not like he wouldn't beat a lot of guys. He's getting out jabbed. He's still coming forward. I just think Haney has excellent skills, and he's, he may not be getting guys out of there, but he's still improving every time you see him. That might have been Endon Ganey's best round. Could have been. Doesn't mean he won it. No. Nope. Not enough to win. Tuesday nights at 9, Emmy Award winning Inside the NFL brings you the sights, sounds, and spectacle of the NFL in all its glory, including player profiles, interviews, and intense moment-by-moment -moment game footage. Every team, every game, every week, here on Showtime. Deep in, deep in. Trying to double the jab. Listen, listen. Trying to double, double right left hook. You've got to throw more than one, two. Boom, boom. Remember this one. Boom, boom, boom. He pulls back. He pulls back. You throw that jab onto the body hook over by watching you throw it. Let's go, man. It's not that tough. Let's go. And then punch right back, okay? Right? He's open when he's after he punch. So this is round eight of this 10-rounder. Fight's been dominated by Devin Haney. And he has a game opponent in front of him. Well, it's going to be interesting to see as time uh, goes by. Is, is Haney's 20. Will, will he get more man strength? And will it be used when he punches power punches. Yeah, you know, the interesting thing to me is he does set down on his punches. It's not, you know, like he's off balance or that he slaps with his punches. He doesn't do that. So that could be a well-taken point. I mean, he could just get stronger. I think he can. I mean, he's still a, a young kid. He's 20 years old. He's working on his power. I still think he doesn't have that man strength. And it might take, you know, everybody's different. You know, there's guys that could win world titles at age 28, 7, 17, like Rosero Benitez, Mike Tyson. But it might take any couple of rounds to develop it to a full-grown man and have that more power. It, it's, it looks to me like he's been working on his power. Yeah, I, I mean, he does. He, he rotates his, pronates his punches. He, he drops the sets, he sets down on his punches. He does all the right, right. things. Take a look at Steve's uh, card here, and he gave the last round to Andon Ganey, and I could see it. I didn't, but I could see it. Yeah, I got tired of giving Andy 10-9, 10-9, 10, nine, 10, nine, 10 nine. <laughs> Well, 10-8 and 7-8, yeah. yeah. There's nine. a good left hand. This and round, that drives yeah. Andon into the ropes. This round, Haney's winning convincingly. If I was Haney, I mean, he's dominating this fight. I would, I would go body hunting one round. Just go, go to the body. Get close. He goes to go to the body. Work the body. Keep working the body. Well, he's been effective going to the body. That's it. That's it. Keep touching the body. Keep pecking away. Keep no, tapping away. He's being effective doing it because he got Kenny's the one holding. Oh, right hand. There's a left hand. 
from Haney. Drives in the, in the end of the ropes again. <laughs> well, watch those ropes, guys. A little performance there, I think, from Haney. Good shot. Going down to the oh. body. Keep going downstairs. Oh, that left hook was oh. a thing of beauty. I, I think he's still hurting from another combination. And Nagini back to the ropes, now fights off the ropes. And body shots. Got him just... Yeah, I think that's his ticket. Yes. Oh. Body shot that's and it. a right hand of the head. Another right hand and a head at the bell. So we come to round nine, a fight that has been dominated by Devin Haney. Devin Haney you might notice on his shoes it says contender. Is he doing a commercial for the uh, TV show? Oh, no, I don't maybe. think so. I don't think so. Oh, he said he, he don't want to be a prospect. He wants a contender. Right. I'm going to ask you about that later, Steve. Be prepared. I'm yeah, prepared. He's got two rounds to stop this guy. I still think he could do it. I still think he's got time to stop him. Don't get me. I'll tell you this much right now. I think Anthony Gaines is the best fighter he's fought as a pro. I do too. I agree. Even though he's not winning rounds. No, he's been very sharp. I'm talking about Haney being very sharp. Oh, dig. Two good body shots. He's there, he's got to keep That's going. It. Keep That's going. There he comes go. upstairs now. And then he's still fighting. Yeah, this guy's got heart. That's it. Go toe to toe. Heart galore from Ndungani. Yeah. And then Getty shakes his head, backs <laughs> into the ropes again. Right hand from Haney. Haney just stalking. That was a reaching right hand. Missed with a left. There's a combination. You know, Haney's got the right idea here. Yeah, he does. Is it too little, too late? He's got to rip the body a little more consistently. Right? Yep. That's the problem. He's not consistent enough with the, that body attack. You don't see Ndangeni moving very much anymore. But I'll tell you what, he was more consistent in this fight than in the Burgos fight with his combinations. Yes. No, I think he's gotten yes. better. Yeah, absolutely. He learned from the last fight. Body shot oh. in the left hand from Ndangeni. <laughs> Reaching right hand from Ndangeni. Tell you what, them South African fighters, they're, they're tough. Yeah. Yes. There's a right hand. Final seconds of round nine. Well, Bill Haney's calling for body shots. Right hand to the body you see, and, and Gadeni against the ropes, and a left hook beautifully placed. Come, boy. Come. What you got? Let's go, man. What you got? You got three minutes. Let's go. You're doing great. Go, you're going to win this round. Freeze, man. Freeze, keep up. Father, let's go. Three minutes of fucking hell. Let's go, boy. Okay, do it for me. That's all I want for me. Three minutes. Free, baby, free. Hey, when, I, when your head is in his chest, that's when you go to work. You put your head in his chest, away from him. Don't come up and then eat. Okay? Let's go. Come, guys, come touch. Get back to you, Cody, one on the bell, guys. Good work. Final three minutes of this fight. 
And Nagini's still there. Well, one thing Haney's got tonight, he's landed more punches than in any other fight in his career. He's going to 198, landed to round 10. I was, I've was i been more impressed with him tonight than I have in either of the other two fights that we saw him in, and, and I was impressed with him in both of those, too. Tough guy is fighting here tonight. Yeah, and a, a mature guy. Uh -huh. He's gone 12 rounds six different times. I mean, for a 20-year-old to to win convincingly against a fighter of this ilk is, is impressive. No matter how, whether he gets a stoppage or not, and whether you're critical of him for not getting a stoppage or not. Where I said it at the top, you can never be sure how good an undefeated fighter is. Right. You can also be never sure how tough a, a, an undefeated yeah. fighter can be. Tough, durable, strong. Yeah. But that, that speaks all the more to how Haney has improved. Because he's handled the tough, strong, durable guy. Yeah, he doesn't let anything get in the way. He's so focused and calm. He's in, he's in control. He doesn't lose his head at all. No. You know, even when Dogeni's leaning on him and trying to smother his shots, you don't see him get frustrated. And that, that tells me a lot for a 20-year-old, Barry. That you don't see that that often. And that drove Endangeni across the ring. And Endangeni is just about out of gas, but may get through this round. Got a minute. He's working Look at that. Oh, Look all at those that. are being caught on the elbow. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a Haney we had not previously seen in this showbox fight. Right. I'll tell you what, he hadn't attacked the body in the Mason Menard fight and Juan Carlos Burgos fight. He didn't attack the body like in this fight. No, no, no I this Look is at that. Look at that. This is, that's a body shot buffet. Good left hand there. Oh, he wants to knock out so badly. He does. And Endangeni taking a real punishment here against the ropes. He's going to have to show something or this fight's going to be stopped. Give him the knockout. Give him the knockout. That time man. he was holding on. He's still it. trying. Can't be set by the bell in any round. Five seconds to go. Endangeni just trying to survive here. Oh, what? And oh. does somehow. So there we have it guys, Devin Haney claimed a unanimous victory against the South African Zolani Dongeni. Haney managed to score a knockdown in the second round and completely dominated his opponent from the early stages of the first round. Now guys, Devin was born in 1998 in San Francisco, California. He moved to Las Vegas, Nevada as a teenager to train in the Mayweather gym. So around the time of this fight, he would have been around 20 years old. We could easily see how Devin dominated Dongeni with his jab and showed great maturity in his boxing skills to defeat a slightly awkward but game opponent. We could see the difference in the speed with Devin's lead hand. He was landing his jab at will and Dongeni had absolutely no answers for it. Now when Devin Haney meets up with Ryan Garcia, it will be interesting to see who can land their jab and subdue the other. I think some versatility will be required from the jab to also set up combinations and counter opportunities which weren't really present in this fight. Now I will add this because I think active boxers need to grasp some of the more nuanced aspects of the battle within the ring. When you are landing that powerful stiff jab and you see your opponent's head snap back you feel the impact of the punch on your knuckles and you hear the reaction of the crowd. This experience can become both addictive and alluring. If you now develop an intention or a belief to knock out your opponent, just like Devin did, I believe after the first round, 
then you need to switch up your attacks to focus more on the body. The reason being is that most boxers expect punches to be directed towards their head, so the defense is already prepared for attacks in this area. The torso is a larger and easier target to hit. Also, some boxers lose their form and can be made more susceptible to other punches after defending body punches. The pain from a body punch is also unbearable, whereas with a headshot, you might just experience a more dazed and confused feeling with the onset of pain developing later on. But one of the most important reasons to target the body is that a good body shot can leave you incapacitated and prevent you from breathing. The recovery time for a well-placed body shot can last up to minutes. So you will immediately switch up or begin the fight with tactics to focus on the body if you want to increase your chances of a knockout. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular video. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you want to add anything about Devin, the dream, Haney. So until my next one, peace out.